here's the mentor. We have this block that tells us ramp, and it's connected to this pulley or this string. And it tells us this block will accelerate down the ramp, and then we need to find the acceleration of this block. So I'm going to draw my acceleration arrow. It'll be down this hill, and I'm going to say what will be positive and what will be negative. I'm going to say that right will be positive, equally positive, down will be negative, and left will be negative. Now I'm going to draw my freedom of diagram. So this block will have gravity, then it'll point straight down. This will be energy. So I'm going to break gravity into its components. This will be the angle theta, same as the ramp. This will be mg sine of theta. This will be mg cosine of theta. This block will have a normal force. Perpendicular to the ground, this will be Fn. This block will have friction that points up the hill, because it tells us that it accelerates down the hill. And this block will also have the force from the pulley that will pull it up the hill. So I'll call this Fp. Now I'm going to write what I know. I know that the mass of the block is 3.2 kilograms. I know that the mass of the pulley is 1.8 kilograms, so I'll call this Mp. I know that the radius of this pulley is 12 centimeters, which is 0.12 meters. I know that the coefficient of friction is 0.26, so I'll say mu is equal to 0.26. And I know that the angle of this ramp is 30 degrees, so I'll say theta is equal to 30 degrees. I'm going to draw my forces in the x and in the y. In the x, I'm going to have mg sine of theta. I'm going to have negative force of friction. I'm going to have negative force of the pulley. That's it for my x. In the y, I'm going to have the normal force, Fn. I'm going to have negative mg cosine of theta. And that's it for my y. In the y, the acceleration is zero because the block won't move up into the air or into the ground. So F equals ma, a is zero. So I'll get Fn minus mg cosine of theta is equal to zero. So Fn is equal to mg cosine of theta. In the x, a is not going to be zero. a is what I'm solving for. So I'll have mg sine of theta minus force of friction minus force of the pulley is equal to ma. Now force of friction is equal to mu fn. It's the same fn as this. So I'll get mg sine of theta minus mu mg cosine of theta minus the force of the pulley is equal to ma. Now to find the force of the pulley, I'm going to start by drawing a separate diagram of this pulley. This will be the radius, and this will be the string that connects them to the block. Now if you notice on this diagram here, this block is connected directly to the string, which runs all the way to the edge of this pulley. So as this block will begin to slide down this ramp with this acceleration, this string will also have the same acceleration. So the edge of this pulley will have the same translational acceleration of the block. So we're able to use this equation and say that A is equal to alpha r, a is the translational acceleration, and alpha is the rotational acceleration of this pulley. So we can use the equation torque is equal to I alpha, where I is the moment of inertia of this solid cylinder. And this value will usually be given to you either as a number or as um, with variables. There is a derivation, but I'm not going to cover this video. So the I of the solid cylinder is equal to 1 half m r squared, and this m will be the mass of the pulley. So torque will be equal to 1 half mass of the pulley r squared times alpha. Now alpha is equal to a over r. All I did is divide this r on both sides. So torque is going to be equal to 1 half will be mass of the pulley r squared times a over r. This r will cancel with that r. So we'll get mass of the pulley r a over 2. Now, force times radius is also equal to torque. So force times radius is going to be equal to mass of the pulley r a over 2 
this arm cancel with that arm. So we'll get the force of the pulley is equal to the mass of the pulley times the translation acceleration over 2. So now I can plug this force of the pulley back into here. We'll get mg sine of theta minus mu mg cosine of theta minus mass of the pulley and acceleration over 2 is equal to ma. Now I'm going to erase this over here to make myself some room. Now I'm going to add this MPA over 2 term to both sides. I'll get MA plus MPA over 2 is equal to MG sine of theta minus mu MG cosine of theta. I'm going to factor the A out of this side here. I'll get A times M plus mass of the pulley over 2 is equal to I'm going to factor this mg from that side. I'll get mg times sine of theta minus mu cosine of theta. Now I'm going to divide this term to both sides. I'll get a is equal to mg times sine of theta minus mu cosine of theta all over m plus mass of the pulley over 2. That is your final answer. When you plug in all those numbers up here, you'll get the right answer. Thank you for watching.